Hello and welcome once again to our online service for uh, today, which is Bible Sunday. So the readings, the collect and the reflection will be focused around that particular theme. The Bible, which was written over 1500 years by people in every conceivable situation, um, is, is amazing in the way that the, the themes still hang together. But basically it's a story of God's love and care uh, for human beings across the centuries. And of course it gives us the detailed stories and teachings of Jesus Christ and the development of the early church. As always in the email accompanying this or on our Facebook post, you will find some suggestions for music uh, and you'll also find details of the reading. We hope you enjoy being with us today. We're sorry that you can't be with us in person and we look forward to seeing you as soon as you can come and be with us. But before we begin, a moment of quiet, as we recall God's presence with us and amongst us, and as we ask for God's blessing on our worship together. The Lord be with you. So as we gather for this service, we're still, we're silent, and we recall the Lord's presence with us and in the words of scripture. And we come to recall the times when we failed to live by God's commandments, when we failed to live by the teaching of Jesus, when we failed to respond to the promptings of God's Holy Spirit. And so together we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we confess that we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May God forgive you all your sins and bring you to new life in him. Amen. The collect and readings today are set for Bible Sunday. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, Help us so to hear them, to read, mark and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may ever embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, Clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus said, 
then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The Bible. Our guide through life. The World Atlas is a fascinating book. When I was a boy, I used to spend hours looking through the family atlas at the maps of the world and of the continents. There was a lot of pink on the maps in those days. The World Atlas is used for a distant shot of the world, for an overall view. But if you want to travel up to, for example, the West Midlands, where there are many alternative routes, do we use the World Atlas? No, we look at a road atlas, which gives us more detail of the road network, the places to pass through, to go round and to avoid. And if you want to find your way to a location in Southampton, do we use the World Atlas? Do we even use a road atlas? No, it's better if we look at a street map, such as an A to Z. I remember when we lived in London for nine years, the A to Z of the city became a valued friend. If we want to be informed about the geography of the world and what it is like, we look at the World Atlas with its different types of maps. If we want to know what God is like, what do we use? We turn to the Bible, which gives us a grand overview. It tells us what sort of being God is, how he creates the world, how he shapes the past and the present and the future. And then if we want to know what road to take for a long journey, we look at a road atlas. If we want to know the right way to go in our journey through life, the right way to live our lives, we look to the Bible where God has given his laws and instructions and plans for life. In it, he tells all of us how to get to know him and live our lives with Jesus as our Lord and Saviour. And if we want to find where a particular location is in our area, we need that street map. If we want to know more about life in detail, we turn again to the Bible. It tells us what to do in times of being afraid or worried or confused. It tells us how to pray. It tells us how we can trust God at all times, that he is always with us. The Bible is such an important book. It is our most valuable reference book. It is one amazing book, and in it God has packed everything that we need to know about how to live our lives in God's world.
Lord Jesus. In your being and through your life, you reveal the glory of God our Father. We come to you now, trusting in your promise to hear us when we pray in faith. Lord Jesus, we pray for your church as she proclaims your gospel of love and truth. Let all who search the scriptures to find eternal life do so in the light of your wisdom and through your loving and compassionate eyes. Forgive us when we seek to use your word for our own ends and to condemn others. Give us the grace and openness to hear your message for us today and to allow your word to abide in us. Lord Jesus, you were sent into this world by God our Father. But so many in this world refused to believe or to accept you. Still today, so many turn their backs on you or are unable to hear your truth. Let there be a new spirit of yearning for unity and peace in the world. Let those who claim that God is on their side recognise the truth that the love of God is for all peoples and that the word of God cannot belong exclusively to anyone. Lord Jesus, you are the living word of God who came to dwell among us. You know the demands and delights of living in community with others. Help us who believe in you live our lives in the light of your wisdom and to see others through your loving and compassionate eyes. Help us to recognise and acknowledge you in the lives and work of those around us and to be open to the possibilities of meeting you in unexpected places. Lord Jesus, you brought comfort and healing to all who came to you in distress. We bring to you now those we know who are suffering any kind of pain. We pray that you will meet their needs with your love and compassion and lighten their darkness with the eternal flame of your spirit. Lord Jesus, you are the living word of God but you faced death and overcame it, rising to a new and eternal life. Strengthen us with faith and hope of life in your eternal kingdom, where you reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God for all people and for all time. Amen. And so our final prayer of blessing. May God's word be a lamp for your feet and a light on your path. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit rest on you today and always. Amen. Lord Jesus, in your being and through your life, you reveal the glory of God our Father. We come to you now, trusting in your promise to hear us when we pray in faith. Lord Jesus, we pray for your church as she proclaims your gospel of love and truth. Let all who search the scriptures to find eternal life do so in the light of your wisdom and through your loving and compassionate eyes. Forgive us when we seek to use your word for our own ends and to condemn others. Give us the grace and openness to hear your message for us today and to allow your word to abide in us. Lord Jesus, you were sent into this world by God our Father, but so many in this world refuse to believe or to accept you. Still today, so many turn their backs on you or are unable to hear your truth. Let there be a new spirit of yearning for unity and peace in the world. Let those who claim that God is on their side recognise the truth that the love of God is for all peoples 
and that the word of God cannot belong exclusively to anyone. Lord Jesus, you are the living word of God who came to dwell among us. You know the demands and delights of living in community with others. Help us who believe in you live our lives in the light of your wisdom and to see others through your loving and compassionate eyes. Help us to recognise and acknowledge you in the lives and work of those around us and to be open to the possibilities of meeting you in unexpected places. Lord Jesus, you brought comfort and healing to all who came to you in distress. We bring to you now those we know who are suffering any kind of pain. We pray that you will meet their needs with your love and compassion and lighten their darkness with the eternal flame of your spirit. Lord Jesus, you are the living word of God, but you faced death and overcame it, rising to a new and eternal life. Strengthen us with faith and hope of life in your eternal kingdom, where you reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God for all people and for all time. Amen. And so our final prayer of blessing. May God's word be a lamp for your feet and a light on your path. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest on you today and always. Amen. <laughs>